that I do not own this fan art, but also let's get into the video. So basically, before I get into the video, I will be for now putting all my putting my intro in all my videos. So yeah, I will be showing my intro after my little talk. Now basically, um, I'm gonna be uploading three other what ifs tonight. What if Deku was what if Deku was Loki part six or five or whatever it was. What if Deku was Carnage part something something the last part of it. Not the last part, the other part of it. it. And if you don't know, if I if you don't know, I have made a Loki and what you call it, Carnage. What if a few months back? Now I'm gonna be you know restarting that. What if I'm not gonna be rebooting it? And basically, I will be uploading Web Deku had the Omnitrix, other part, and also will be uploading Web Deku had the mask. So yeah, so let's get done. So basically, this is Web Deku was Cupid Valentine special. And the day I'm recording this on Monday, so basically I'm gonna be paying um part two and three in one. So hope you guys enjoy it, and let's run that intro. Calling, yeah, I'm shy, calling, hidden like it's rolling. So guys, um, basically last time I left off, Deku went back home after the first day of UA. Now, Deku goes um back to school the next day. Pretty much, you know, scrubbing off that whole entire you know incident with the. Um, you know, rest of the place. I mean, the rest of the crew of you. The rest. I was scrubbing off last night's encounter with those people that are trying to, you know, track down Te Deku. So pretty much Deku goes to school the next day, and walks in the class. They start, you know, talking about you know the day, and pretty much they, you know, all my walks in the class and explains the class we're doing combat training. They get ready and they get started. So they go into the room, and pretty much uh they go. And get the hero costumes. Now Deku's hero costume is a lot more different. Deku's hero costume isn't like this, but Deku's hero costume is basically exactly like this. But the blue was replaced with a red, and the green in his outfit is replaced with a uh, white. So yeah. So basically, Deku has you know he has no green in his outfit. All the green in his outfit was replaced with a red, and all the white in his outfit was replaced with a um. What should we call it? A red too. Oh no, no, sorry guys. I switched that around. All the green in Deku's outfit was replaced with a white, and all the red and, and all the white in Deku's outfit was replaced with a red. So yeah. So and also Deku has a you know a what was it a graffitied heart on the um, back of his outfit. So yeah. So basically Deku goes in there. They you know get started and pretty much they get ready. So they. Get ready, and Deku's teamed up with Ochaku, and Deku is also teamed up with... And then the Deku's teamed up with Ochaku, and everybody's teamed up the same. Exactly the same. No one really changed. So basically, Deku gets ready, and Deku pretty much tells Ochaku to, you know, hold off Ida while I take down Bakugo. Pretty much she says, yeah, and she walk and she runs off. Deku, you know, summons his wings and flies off. Deku's flying and flying and flying, and eventually he comes across Bakugo. Bakugo says, come down here, nerd. And pretty much, you know, starts throwing explosions towards Deku. Deku dodges him and dodges him and saying, I don't want to hurt you, Bakugo. Bakugo being saying, I don't want to do that either, but I have to win. So pretty much throwing explosions left and right towards Deku. Deku's dodging them and dodging them. But eventually he catches one of Bakugo's punches because Bakugo was also punching Deku as he threw explosions at him. And Deku pretty much chucked him through a wall using his superhuman strength. Deku flew through the wall with his wings and used his wings as you know, uh, pretty much swords slashing and pointing and pretty much jabbing at uh, Bakugo. Bakugo dodged most of them, but he's still being cut by the wings, because Deku's wings and this Deku's wings are also you know incredibly sharp because they're energy force wings. So pretty much they start cutting into pretty much Bakugo and Bakugo eventually. You know, dodges a full, you know, attack from Deku and uses Deku's stunness or Deku's, you know, lagging to grab Deku by the back of his collar and chuck him through the same hole that he threw De Bakugo in. Deku falls into the hallway and pretty much summons one of the explosion arrows and pretty much, you know, shoots it at Bakugo. Bakugo dodges it, but the explosion arrow stops right behind Bakugo and explodes, knocking out Bakugo. Deku flies through the ceiling all the way up to the bomb room where Ida is. Uh, surprisingly and luckily, 
pretty much popping right underneath Ida, knocking Ida out in one, you know, foul swoop. Deku wins, and pretty much they ground the, they, they are crowned the MVPs. So they go back, you know, to home after that, and pretty much Deku, you know, is a really popular kid. Bakugo says no hard feelings, and pretty much, you know, says I'm good. So we skip to the next day, and pretty much everybody goes back. We skip to the next day, Deku goes back to school, and pretty much, the, you know, they're, they go to the USJ. They're getting talked by um, 13 about the USJ and how quirks can be used to save or hurt people, and pretty much eventually the, the villains show up and start, you know, attacking everybody. So Deku is sent to the um, pretty much um, water area where Froppy and Mineta is, but Deku just, you know, flies to the boat. And grabs Mineta and Froppy and flies them across, you know, the place to the, you know, uh, what was it, the beach or, you know, the, um, the docks where the water area ends. So pretty much Deku sees that All Might shows up and starts fighting the Nomu. The Nomu is beating up All Might at this point and just, you know, straight up destroying him. Deku flies towards him, but he hears, you know, a huge, you know, burst of, he hears a burst, you know, of noise, and he looks up, and he sees a huge, bright light. Deku looks closer, and he sees that it's his dad. Deku is confused, and pretty much, Deku doesn't know he, Deku doesn't know it's his dad, but he does know he has, he has wings really similar to him, his. So Deku pretty much says, who are you? Whispers to himself that, does not say it out loud. And pretty much the man says, I'll help you, my son. And pretty much takes out one a bow and arrow, and the and an arrow he shoots transforms into a huge arrow, pretty much destroying the Nomu. Pretty much seconds after, everybody is knocked out, and they wake up to heroes, you know, gathering up all the villains. So Deku goes to the hospital. Nothing's really, you know, wrong with Deku because Deku does have, um, godly, you know, healing, kind of like how Percy Jackson can heal from water. Deku can heal from, you know, love and affection. So if somebody, you know, kisses Deku, if he's, like, on the brink of death, Deku can come back. Or if, you know, somebody, you know, gives Deku affection or love or cares about Deku. So dearly, Deku will start healing in superhuman levels. So, guys, um, I'm going to end it off here. If you guys want a part four, just ask and say guys later. Bye. Deuces and always. Have a blessed day.